republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. As a Windermere hawk, I promise to practice the Windermere way. I am respectful, responsible, and ready to learn. Mrs. Hamilton, readers want to know, what is World Read Aloud Day? Once upon a time, there was a boy who lived in New York, Manhattan. Once upon a time, there was a girl who lived in Jackson, Mississippi. Once upon a time, there lived a boy in Kibera. One day, he learned that he had magical powers. She can travel through time and space just by opening a book. During his adventures, he had a courageous heart like Mulan. The girl read and read and read. So he realized that anything was possible. When I grow up, I want to be a politician. I would like to be an engineer and a honest man. World Read Aloud Day is celebrated each year at the beginning of February. The event is hosted by an organization called Lit World. This event has been happening for 12 years and calls attention to reading aloud and sharing stories with each other all over the world. Your teachers have an opportunity to sign up your classes to listen to 11 different authors who will share their stories next Wednesday. Next week, I'll be sharing with you some stories from our very own Windermere Hawks. Stay tuned. It's going to be awesome. Hi, I'm the birthday unicorn here to wish these readers a very happy birthday from the Windermere Library Media Center. like to thank these readers families for purchasing a book for our library to honor these readers birthdays for all of us to enjoy if you'd like to join our birthday book club ask your teacher or mrs hemelgarn how to join hello winter of your artists i have some super exciting news an amazing opportunity to spread love and joy everywhere with your artwork. It's going to be fabulous and I just can't, I can't wait to tell you about it. Actually, I, I have to tell you about it right now. UA Civic Association is partnering with all UA art programs to provide artwork to nursing homes and assisted living facilities, all of them in Upper Arlington. Their goal is that each person within these facilities can receive a piece of personal artwork from no other person but you. Our goal is that we can connect senior citizens with the UA community, and what better way to do that than through artwork. And I'm so excited because I know 
what amazing artists you are and the joy it gives me to see your artwork. And I can only imagine the joy and happiness they're gonna feel when they get a piece of it from you. So let me tell you how this whole process works. The first thing that you need to do is come up with an idea. What is your Valentine art going to look like? We are asking that all artwork created is under the same theme of Valentine's Day. Once it's collected, we will be delivering it to those living in the facilities just in time to receive a Valentine on Valentine's Day. I wanted to show you my card that I created. You can create a card that actually opens up or you can do a full art piece that can be on the whole front of a paper if you wanted it larger and you can write a nice message on the back. That is totally up to you. I've seen students do so many different things, write poems. Whatever artwork you choose is all up to you. I wrote a message on the inside of my artwork. I think that's what's really important is you still wanna write them an encouraging message and maybe that's something that an adult can also help you with. Mine says, Happy Valentine's Day. I created a flower out of hearts. And on the inside it says, Dear friend, Happy Valentine's Day. I hope you have a day full of love and joy. Sincerely, Megan. You can sign it with just your first name. Here are some more pieces of artwork that other students have created to provide you with inspiration. artwork does not have to look like any of the examples that I've given you. Those are just to provide inspiration. If you would like to sculpt something out of clay or make like a plaque, you're more than welcome. If you'd like to do a painting, a drawing, a poem, those are all up to you as long as it's something that you are able to turn in. Once you have finished your artwork, you are ready for step number two. Step number two, turn in your artwork. Once you are finished with your artwork, you are going to turn it in the day that you are in person at school. And I would like you to have these turned in no later than Thursday, February 4th. I'm going to have a huge Valentine's art box right out of side of my art classroom so you can turn it in there. But please do not turn it in any later than next Thursday, February 4th. If you are here on Monday and Tuesday, turn it in then. If you are cohort two, you can turn it in on Thursday or Friday. Don't forget and have fun. Now go create some art from your heart. Spread the love and use that power that art has to inspire and give joy to those around you. Psst, don't forget, turn it in next week. Why do pandas love old school movies? Hmm, I don't know. Because they're in black and white. Hee hee hee. Happy birthday to you.